is the first second gentleman of the United States of America. Let's welcome Mr. Doug Emhoff. From the White House to the Sunport, Vice President Kamala Harris's husband stopped in Albuquerque today to highlight the federal effort to improve infrastructure across the country. Spencer Schott was there to hear what he had to say. Spencer. Well, Julie, it is an election year, so he was, of course, touting the work accomplished by the Biden and Harris administration over the last three years, really focusing on projects funded by the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act of 2022, which gave a lot of money to our Sunport. It's great to be back here in sunny Albuquerque. <laughs> Even though it wasn't very sunny this morning, the second gentleman of the United States, Doug Emhoff, says the future of America's infrastructure looks bright. Our Biden-Harris administration is investing in infrastructure all across the nation, which we know, and you know, Mayor, has such an impact on the entire community. Here in Albuquerque, the city received more than $20 million from the federal government to improve the airport, but it didn't all happen at once. The Sunport has received three different airport grants for terminal upgrades. In 2022, the Sunport got $7 million for modernization efforts and to make the airport more accessible for disabled passengers. Then in 2023, they got another $7 million to update the jet bridges, an issue that's been bothering passengers for a long time now. You may have noticed the heater and the air conditioner have not worked for a couple of years when you're getting on the plane. I know you knew this because you called me about it and you said, what are you going to do about it, Mayor? And fortunately, we are going to be able to fix that with this federal investment as part of our renovation. Finally, in February of this year, the Sunport got $6 million to upgrade their baggage handling system. But second gentleman Emhoff says these investments do more than just improving the experience for travelers. In addition to improving the safety and efficiency and rebuilding everything, it's creating great paying jobs, many of them union jobs, high paying union jobs right here at the Sunport. So we're going to continue to support labor. Mayor Tim Keller also gave an update on the construction project at the Sunport. He says so far they are on schedule and on budget, so they're still expecting to finish those renovations around December of this year. Back to you. All right, Spencer, thank you.